Ubuntu 1604 was released a couple months ago, and with it came a lot of interesting changes. From small changes like being able to move the Unity launcher to the bottom of your screen, to big changes like replacing the Ubuntu Software Center with a fork of GNOME software. For me, the most interesting change is the introduction of Snappy on the Ubuntu desktop. In this video, I'm going to answer the questions, what is Ubuntu Snappy, and what are snaps? Hi, I'm Marcus now with Touch Digital, and this is Linux Explained. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick note for the Linux Explained series. This series is based on information, not opinions. So topics addressed in this series will not be accompanied by mine or anyone else's opinion. With that said, it's very likely that I have an opinion on this topic. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to see my future opinion-based series. The most pressing question regarding Ubuntu Snappy has to be, what is Ubuntu Snappy? Well, Snappy is the project name, is the name of the Internet of Things stuff, the name of... Okay, hold on. So before I explain Snappy as a whole, we first need to briefly talk about snaps. I'll explain snaps in more depth later in the video, but snap packages are Ubuntu's new universal package format. I like the name snap. It's a pretty good name. It sounds good, flows with the idea of apps really well, and has a lot of potential for slogans and even puns. You can make a reference to Apple with like, there's a snap for that, or a reference to Daft Punk's song Technologic. Make it, snap it, push it, update it. Now back to answering what is snappy. This is where the naming scheme starts to take a turn from good to downright confusing. Snappy is more or less an informal name to describe a lot of things. That while all are related in some way, they are not necessarily all utilized simultaneously. Snappy relates to Ubuntu Core, Snappy Ubuntu Core, Snappy on Ubuntu Desktop, and Snap Packages. The Ubuntu Core is the platform on which Snaps can be installed. It's essentially a minimal install of Ubuntu based around Snaps for managing software. Ubuntu Core is part of, the, of both the Snappy Ubuntu Core and Snappy on Ubuntu Desktop. Snappy Ubuntu Core is a transactionally updated version of Ubuntu for Internet of Things devices, cloud usage, and more. Snappy on Ubuntu Desktop is the full Ubuntu desktop with the Ubuntu core integrated for usage with a snappy infrastructure and snap packages. <sighs> so to summarize, snappy is the informal name for everything related to it. Snap is the universal package format introduced by Ubuntu. Ubuntu core is the platform that snaps are installed on. Snappy Ubuntu core is the snaps only minimal version of Ubuntu for Internet of Things, cloud, and etc. Snappy on Ubuntu Desktop is the desktop version of Ubuntu with Ubuntu Core integration to utilize Snaps. Now let's talk about Snaps. I know it may seem like I skipped over a lot of details in the What is Snappy segment, but most of the technical aspects of Snappy directly relate to the functionality of Snaps. So I felt it would make more sense to go ahead and move on to Snaps. The Snaps explanation will be separated into two parts. The first part will be explaining the benefits of Snaps. This will include benefits for users, app developers, and distributions. The second part will be answering the most frequently asked questions that I've found during the process of creating this video. Here's the list of user benefits for Snaps. Any distro that supports Snapd, the Snap daemon, allows for installing Snaps without having to worry about whether or not it was packaged for your specific distro. Snaps can already be installed in a wide range of Linux distros including Ubuntu, all Ubuntu flavors, Arch, Fedora, Linux Mint, CentOS, and Gentoo. Snaps are intended to cover the entire ecosystem, so support for other distros is currently in development. You can get the latest versions of apps without having to upgrade the entire distro. In the current state of Linux package distribution, applications are locked to the dependency tree provided by a distro, so you're forced to find a package made for the specific version of your distro. If a distro supports snaps, you'll be able to install any snap in any version of that distro. In the past, packages were limited to specific versions of distros, so if you wanted an app that only supported specific distro versions, like an LTS, you'd be left out. This structure created fragmentation inside of the same distribution of Linux, based on the version of that distribution. Snaps alleviate this distro version fragmentation. Snaps allow developers to push out updates to users as soon as they are ready. 
users will no longer have to wait on distros to make new releases or maintainers to make updates to the repositories. Ubuntu users have been able to supplement this issue for some time now with third-party repos called PPAs, or Personal Package Archives, but that's not an ideal process. Snaps make it very easy and very quick for users to get updates for their applications. Snaps utilize a repo to update applications similar to the traditional process, but Snaps have additional features. Snaps have rollback functionality. If a Snap fails to update, it will roll back to a previous version to minimize breakage. Once an issue is solved, the update can be redone to receive the fixed update with no downtime. Snaps will be able to do incremental updates as well, so instead of downloading full packages over and over, you can update just the pieces that need updating. Snaps are built as read-only SquashFS system images that are mounted as loop devices upon boot. This structure improves both security and load times for launching applications. The SquashFS approach allows for Snaps to have app isolation. App isolation means that Snaps are not immediately allowed to touch the data from another Snap or your home folder. In contrast, Debs install as root so they can do anything to your system and can see all the data in your home folder. Snaps allow for multiple versions of the same application to be installed side by side. This is not likely to be a common occurrence, but if you'd like to do this, it's possible with Snaps. A lot of the benefits of users also apply to developers, so instead of reiterating them, I'm going to focus on benefits that are strictly for app developers. Snaps make it so app developers wouldn't be required to create multiple packages of their app for each distro or each version of each distro. Less packages to build, making it possible to support more distros and therefore more users. Less work, more users. Who wouldn't want that? Snap is a simpler packaging format, and with Snapcraft, to create snaps, the process is fairly painless. Snaps have a repo slash store structure that allows for developers to push their software directly to users. Developers can release an update to their software, and users can get the update within hours rather than days, weeks, or even months. Developers won't need to wait for a distro to push an update to a repository, which could take months in some cases. Snaps remove the burden of no control over distribution so developers can get their software to users as soon as possible. App developers can create separate channels for different types of users within the same Snap. Developers can release their software in a stable channel, a beta channel, and in nightly channels called Edge. Users can select to use the most up-to-date version of the Snap or only use stable releases. This is currently accomplished in Ubuntu with different PPAs for each branch, but Snaps simplify it into just one Snap. Distributions benefit from a lot of the same things I've already mentioned, but the ability to focus on the core development is probably the most important thing. Distro developers and maintainers currently have to juggle their time between core development and application packaging. Debian, for example, has over 11,000 packages to build for every release. Snaps eliminate some of that burden, so distros can focus on developing the operating system itself rather than dealing with the packaging of so many applications. This next segment is for answering all the frequently asked questions that I could find related to Snappy and Snaps. Do Snaps replace Debian packages? Sort of, maybe, and no. Sort of because Snaps do not replace Debs entirely, even on the Applications layer, as you will be able to install both Debs and Snaps. Maybe because it's possible that Snaps could take off as the universal package format, making them more abundant. If Snaps do achieve a status of being more abundant than Debs, then yeah, they would likely replace Debs on the Application layer. Finally, no, because Debs will stay as the foundation of the operating system. Even if Snaps replaced Debs on the application layer, the system would still be constructed with Debs. In fact, the Ubuntu core itself, the platform that Snaps are installed on, is created via Debs. Will the same Snap work across multiple distros that implement Snappy? Yes, the same Snap will work on any version of any distro that supports Snappy. Which distros can I use Snaps on? You can use Snaps on Ubuntu and all Ubuntu flavors as well as Arch, Fedora, Linux Mint, CentOS, and Gentoo. Support for other distros is currently in development, so perhaps in the future the answer might be any distro you want. We'll see. Are Snaps completely isolated, or will it support shared libraries? 
Snaps are not 100% isolated because that would create some unfortunate side effects. Instead, snaps allow for exceptions to be made so services that need to be used outside of a snap are allowed permission to do so. In regards to shared libraries, snaps do not have support for shared libraries at the time of this recording. However, I've talked with employees of Canonical who have confirmed that shared libraries is a feature that is currently in development and is expected to be released fairly soon. Are third-party snap repos or stores possible? Yes, in fact there are two options for making third-party snap stores. Just over a week ago, Dustin Kirkland wrote a tutorial on his blog about the open source snap store project made by Brett Barker. Brett released the snap store code under the Apache license on GitHub. In addition to Brett's store, the UApp Explorer team released their own snap store called OpenStore. OpenStore is released under the GPL. Are snaps related to Ubuntu Phone's clicks? Yes, snaps are the next generation of click packages, kind of like Click 2.0. Snaps are significantly different though, so they decided to rebuild the concept instead of basing it on the click structure. What happens if I install a deb and a snap of the same application? Snaps have a higher priority than debs, so with both installed, you'll be able to use either version, but snaps will be the default. Can snaps be installed without the use of a repo or store? Yes, snaps can be installed independently from a repo or store. The store structure provides many benefits like simple and easy updating, so sideloading a snap wouldn't be as useful. It is certainly possible though. Is it possible for multiple developers, like a team, to manage the same snap? Not yet. At the time of this recording, it is not possible to share management of a snap. However, I have received confirmation that it is a planned feature, but an estimate for release was not provided. How is namespace handled with snaps? Are snap name conflicts possible? Officially managed snaps will be able to use the official non-suffix namespace, but if an individual were to create a snap for something, they would need to add a suffix to indicate they are not a part of the official team. For example, if FFmpeg were to make a snap, then they could name it simply FFmpeg. But if I, Michael Snell, wanted to make one for FFmpeg, I'd have to name it something like FFmpeg-mton to indicate it's not official. If a snap is published to the snap store, non-officially, with a suffix, but the official project wants to take over that snap, the management rights can be transferred and the namespace for the snap would become official, removing the suffix. How do snaps handle systems with multiple users using the same snap? The snap will be installed globally for all users once, and each user will have their own user data stored separately. Thanks for watching this inaugural episode of Linux Explained. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and if you think others might also find it helpful, please share it. Anywhere. Everywhere. Now that's too gritty. Anywhere. I'm very interested in what you think of this video and this series, so if you have any feedback to give or maybe suggestions for future episodes of Linux Explained, please leave a comment below. If you're interested in seeing more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of videos to do, so if you like this kind of content, there's a lot more to come. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and as always, keep using, learning, and enjoying Linux.